Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy, Uncle Jesse. That's capital U, capital J. And don't you forget it. We're going to go ahead and do our uh, Chrome Baseball Hobby full case number one. Uh, but first, we got to do a little randoming. All right. First, I got to grab the case. All right, so I got a box filler there for uh, three of the bigger teams in this thing, the Angels, Dodgers, Yankees. So in order for that to get done, I got to open the case and, uh, I don't know, let's random these things up a little bit here. All right, so I've numbered all the boxes, 1 through 12. All right. TCU, I, if I do, you know, oh, my God. Now, my sword is going to ask me, who's TCU? So, Louise, yeah, just, you know, buy teams through the store, and uh, you'll get capital letters. And, you know, and we and we both feel important at, at that point. Now, listen, TCU, if I, I don't mind, I'll just change it back uh, <laughs> once we're done here anyway. And, and I'm going to change Louise's to lowercase letters, too, just because. Just Exactly, Louise. Exactly. My point exactly. All right. We're going to go eight times. Uh, we're going to random the names, and then we're going to random the uh, numbers, which represent a box, uh, to see who gets what box assigned to them here on this deal. All right. Eight times. Good luck, y'all. I mean, Eric, if you want me to do it, I'll do it. You, you told me you were kidding last time, but, you know, if, if, if the Princess Louise wants capital letters, you know, who am I to, who am I to deny Turt Ferguson? All right, going eight times with the numbers. Good luck, y'all. <clears throat> Money shot eight, good luck. And boom, eight. So copy, paste that. And let's sort it by number so it's easier for me to follow. All right, so Stephen numbers one and two, Michael three, four, five, Don six, Edgar seven. 
Mark 8, Steven 9, Mike 10, Brandon 11, and Mike 12. Uh, the box filler refers to these three teams, Angels, Dodgers, Yankees. So any Angels, Dodgers, or Yankees that come out of their respective box goes to these owners here. So as you have probably already guessed, this might take a little while. So let me actually, hold on. I'm going to sort it by names real quick. Just so I can write these down here and keep track of this stuff. Get some more post it notes running low. All right, I got everyone's name. Let's do that by numbers. Oh boy, it's gonna be quite the journey. I'm gonna start with box one, and as always, good luck, everybody. I need to keep track of those three teams. You know, these could be useful, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep those for like box toppers and stuff. And I wish these were jumbo packs. You put like five cards and a four cards in a pack. Wow. What a waste. Well, Cheeto, uh, you know, you could actually block certain people. You know that, right? If you Google uh, how to block people in YouTube chat, then uh, it should pop up for you. Uh, JMS, this thing just started, and it's going to be a long one. So if I were you and uh, you're not ready for the long haul, you know, I'd drink myself a nice warm cup of milk, eat a cookie or two, and go to bed. Oh, okay, Cheeto. I just figured I'd pass that information on, on to you. Uh, well, let's see. What time is it? 11 now. Yeah, this will take me at least an hour, hour and a half. But I'm going to try to uh, have it not take that long. Over under 1 a.m. Mm, that's a good, that's a good. All righty, uh, let's see here. Let's see what we got. Good luck, everybody. So that is a Dodger. So that'll go to Steven because this is box one. Got the Cubs, Chris Bryant. Rookie is on Diaz Marlins. A rookie refractor for the A. Seth Brown. Dylan Cease, White Sox rookie. A Dodger, Corey Seager. That'll go to box one. Uh, Indians rookie, Lee McHugh. That's a veteran. Marcus Semien 
for the A's, green on green. That looks real nice. 299. If that was Mr. Roberts, that would have been a big time hit. All right, first to strike is Jake Rogers, Tigers rookie autograph. Yeah, look at look at Princess Louise with a hit. All in favor for Louise to change her name to Princess Louise? Uh, say I in the chat. Die cut, Randy Johnson D backs. Yankees refractor. That are, what is that? Oh, I thought that was a red. Blue Jays rookie. Two autos. Mr. Yamamoto. Rookie autograph for the Marlins. Soto card, nice looking. You got a Yu Chang Indians Blue to seventy five. Right. That's it for box one. I don't think I missed uh, anything for the Angels, Dodgers, Yankees. Let me double check Angels, Yankees. Angels, Dodgers, Yankees. Those are veterans, so it doesn't matter. I'll throw a trout base in there because I'm sure. Yeah, see, I missed a rookie. Good thing I went back. Veteran. Another veteran in there. <coughs> and make sure I didn't skip anything here. Angels, Dodgers, Yankees. Didn't miss anything for the first box for those filler teams, so put that for uh, number one, which is Steven. On to box two. <coughs> box two, Steven as well.
And it took me 15 minutes for that first box. Oh my goodness. Gonna be here a while. If I can keep that going, that's not too bad. A punching bag. <laughs> Gotta go to Dick Sporting Goods and pick up one of those. Uh, you know those those mannequins they have. They you know that you're supposed to like punch and stuff. Buy one of those, set it up here, and just go at it. Gone with the wind just start. Oh, that's a must watch. That is a watch, my uh, must watch. That's not too bad. All right, let's see what we got here. A orange Dustin May. To 25 for the Dodgers. That'll go to, you know, the box two owner. Angels, but that's a veteran. Mm, there's the autograph. Southern News A's rookie auto. A's on the board. And that is a Dodger veteran, but you know, I'll draw him in there. He's in his uh, new team's uniform. Excuse me. That'll go. That's a refractor. That is not. Autograph Zach Gallon, rookie D bags. Yeah, Princess Louise at it again. McGuire Cardinals, uh, die cut.
Ooh, a Lewis Robert rookie White Sox 35th anniversary. I wonder uh, what that'll go for. Really nice looking card. Now you just gotta meet the guy and have him sign it for you. It's not numbered, no. And we got a rookie Lewis Robert here. Base. So, Angels, Dodgers, Yankees. That was box two, which is DVP. Box three, which is Michael. Good luck. What do you think, Freak? While I admire your uh, confidence, Freak, probably not going to happen. Just being honest. Uh, smoking is, I mean, if you pay for it, I'll do it. Uh, yeah, Jordan.
Xbox 3. Nice. A Kyle Lewis rookie refractor autograph. There you go, Smokey. That's a, that's a good one. To four ninety nine. Nice. Chris Paddock, Padres, Future Stars Green to 99. Got Willie Castro, Tigers rookie autograph. Another here for Princess Louise. That'll have to go. The rod, Rangers die cut. <laughs> uh, nice picture, Roro. That is a rookie angel. Carlos rookie refractor. Another uh, Eloy base. When was that? Naruto? Well, maybe when I was doing my like uh, my marathon breaks and stuff. Couple cards there for 
<coughs> Close the box three for Michael. Drink some water here. Should I drink no coffee at this hour? Probably not a good idea. Princess Louise! Hell yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So now so now when you ask me to do things, Louise, I'll be way more inclined and you know, not give you attitude. Cause you are a princess. And you should be treated as such. I'm on box four right now. I'm at uh, about 32 minutes. So yeah, this just might take me an hour and a half. actually need to eat every uh, three hours or so I gotta eat on this uh, diet that I'm on but I'll just eat after I'm done here later JMS thanks for hanging out man I'll see you tomorrow Have you tried fasting? I do that. I do that from time to time, like, like on my own. Like if I eat a bunch of like junk food or something one day, then the day after, like I usually feel like crap. So like, I'll have like maybe one meal. But uh, no, nah, I mean, uh, not not really, to be honest. Anyway, let's uh, see what we got here. I hear fasting is good for you, though. Nah, Cheeto, I'm good, man. I'm just saying. Just uh, talking crap here. But I, I, I am on a, I am on this schedule where every uh, three hours or so I gotta eat. You know, I've uh, I'm on this weight loss journey, y'all boys. You know, I, uh, I don't know if I told you guys, but I weighed myself the other day. And I was at 330 pounds, man. Last Friday, to be specific. And, you know, I'm the fattest I've ever been in my life, bro. And that's just not a good look, so. It's not a good look for my health. The ladies ain't paying me no mind. So. Gotta get it together. You know, watch what I eat. Exercise and in no time, Uncle Jesse gonna be uh, looking real sexy. A Blue Jay Auto for T J Zooch. Yeah, I was gonna say that's that's my that's my thing too. Oh, a nice Kyle Lewis Mariners rookie. That's uh, that's actually what that's actually what sumo wrestlers do, is they eat 
and then right after they're done eating, they go lay down and they go to sleep. And uh, that's how they're able to uh, keep those pleasantly plump bodies. Uh, pleasantly plump. You shouldn't, you shouldn't eat anything. Uh, like if you're going to bed, like let's say at midnight, you're going to bed. Your last meal should be four hours before that, so eight o'clock. But if you're purposefully trying to gain weight, then pig out and go to sleep right after. And uh, you will see a difference. Edwin Rios got that blue for the Dodgers. Nice. The doctor says for every 30 pounds of weight loss. Oh, dude, Steven. Oh, man, I can't wait to get these, uh, to get these half inches back. It's already a struggle when I, uh, you know, when I'm trying to, never mind. We got James Marvel gold for the Pirates. That's, that looks nice. That yellow on yellow. Dude, that is nice looking. Number to 50. Pirates on the board. <clears throat> Has anyone noticed that I haven't fallen asleep like at all today or in the last couple days? You can do it. Yeah, hell yeah. All right, let me uh, put this away. This was box number four, which is Michael. I did. I'd probably be on box number six by now. What games are you playing right now, Edgar? I'm on that PlayStation 4. And uh, I've actually been playing Borderlands 3 again. We've got a little got a little, little mini event going on. So me and the boys have been playing. But I might go back to uh, Ghost of Tsushima tonight. If I even play video. I, you know, I might just watch a movie before I go to sleep. Wow, that box took me like four minutes to go through. If I'm look, if I'm about four or five minutes, so I just may be able to do this before twelve thirty. That's that's my goal. Is to I'm shooting for twelve o'clock on this here. Ah, uh, freak, fuck no. Uh, but we will be doing some shipping tomorrow, though. I believe tomorrow, tomorrow's going to be Rosa's last day. So I'm going to have her sort and ship. And then kick her ass to the curb. Oh, wait, so you play, like, on, uh, you're a PC gamer, Cheeto? Subnautica, the name sounds from, isn't that like a, like an underwater, like, exploring kind of like a slash horror game? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> a Lewis Robert rookie base. Yep, yep. I've seen I've seen some videos of the Subnautica on YouTube. When them big ass fucking fish come up and like sneak up behind you. You're like, what the fuck? Dom Nunez, rookie autograph for the Rockies. Yeah, dude, I, I yo, call me a bitch. I don't care. I, I don't like those, uh, I don't like them horror games. It's, it's funny because I can play, I'm sorry, I can watch horror movies all day, every day. And it really, it, it won't phase me. But I cannot play a horror game. Like, it's too immersive. Like, I feel like I'm, I'm in, I'm in there. So I just, I just can't do it. Sandy Koufax with a little dud cut. Not, dude, I, yo, I, I have, man, I got so many games I need to catch up on, bro. I bought Red Dead, and I got past, like, the little tutorial. I did, like, one mission after that, and then I just stopped playing. Crazy how uh, real life intervenes in the... Uh, into things. Dude, I used to be able to play games for hours. Now, I could probably play a game for like maybe two hours before I get bored. Michael Brousseau, Ray's rookie autograph. <clears throat> I'm waiting for the PS5 already. I'm ready to pre-order that thing. I don't think I've come across a short print yet. But if you guys see anything, let me know. Yeah, and Topps Chrome Baseball, all autographs are on card autographs. Cal Lewis rookie, Mariners. They haven't announced it yet, Freak, but it's supposed to come out uh, during the fall. They have a history of releasing new systems in November, though, so. You know, probably around uh, Black Friday, you know. Take advantage of all those crazy sales. A Buster Posey negative for the Giants. That's pretty cool. So go to box five. Who's got box five? Michael does. Halfway, box six. Yeah, dude. PS5. Well, it should come out this year. Uh, probably late November. There's a new Xbox coming out, too, in case you uh, didn't know about that one, either. I saw a video for a, for a, for a Sega Dreamcast 2, but that was, that's probably just fake. But the Sega Dreamcast was ahead of its time.
Ooh, a redemption. For Bo Bichet. Damn. There you go, Raul. The rookie auto refractor parallel. So I think that'll be numbered to four ninety nine. Not a bad case so far. Yeah, worth the wait, uh, Raul. Damn, a Blue Jays box. Jacob Wagwis pack? However you pronounce that. Rookie auto for the Blue Jays. A blue straight Blue Jay box right there. Herman Marquez for the Rockies Blue. To seventy five. Ooh, a Babe Ruth die cut for the Yankees. That's pretty cool. Damn, if that was Lewis Robert, fuck. Tim Anderson, though, for the White Sox Green. Halfway there. This was box six, which is for Don. What is that? Oh boy.
Uh, yes, this is box seven. Why would I do that, Edgar? Just, you, just me opening packs of cards, heavy breathing, into that kind of stuff? Jesse's breathing.com. Hey, that might catch on, man. Carlos rookie Mariners. Wait. That is a uh wait, hold on. Are there two different Kyle Lewis cards? Five nine five six three five. That's a short print right there. Yes, indeed. Very nice. Damn, Mariners doing some damage. <clears throat> I think there's about one short print per case from what I've seen. Uh, Verlander Astros purple to 299. Randy Orozarena, rookie autograph for the Cardinals. That's to 150. Stevie P on the board. Looks a die cut in there. Ted Williams, Red Sox die cut. I, mean, I don't know what it is, man, but filler teams hit a bunch. Like, regardless of what the product or sport is. Filler teams are pretty consistent with the hits. Congratulations, a retro rookie chrome relic card for Ozzy Smith of the Padres. Damn, that is cool looking. 
Game used relic. Damn. That's really cool. There you go. Uh, there you go. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Turd Ferguson. Nice hit for Turd Ferguson. Rangers rookie autograph, Jonathan Hernandez. What's that Lewis uh, image variation going for anyway? Just out of, out of curiosity. Hey, damn, if that was Lewis, come on! Dylan C's White Sox. Rookie gold to 50. White Sox have been hitting some, uh, some parallels, some colors here and there, but not the one we're looking for anyway. Mr. Roberts. All right, this was box seven. Box seven is Edgar. So there you go. Dude, Lazaro, I'm opening up an entire case. So I'm doing an entire case of this stuff. Let's see if it says on the box here. There's 24 packs per box, four cards per pack. Um, so do that math. 24 times 12 equals a lot of packs. <laughs> a lot of cards. This is box eight, Edgar. This is box eight. You are uh, either you're behind in the stream or the chat or something, but this is box eight. Mr. George will be proud of my math skills. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 50, uh, 50, uh, what was it, five minutes after the bell, please? Ah, oh, fuck you, I'm walking out of here. Ah, good times in high school, good times. I wonder, I wonder if he's still, uh, teaching math. Oh, he's not at Southridge anymore? Really? What you doing up this late, Lazaro?
Oh, you're playing League of Legends? Nice. Anybody else in here play uh, League of Legends? I hate this game, but you're playing it. The hell? How does that work? Yeah, that was fast. Cubs autograph for Edward L. Zolé. F1 2020. What, what is that? Is that like uh You talking about the is it like a racing game? Bro, you need you need to get on that uh that Ghost of Tsushima, dog. That game is so good. So much fun. Mr. Bench, Reds, die cut. Bro, you need to you need to get on it, man. Look, Bo Bichet, rookie right there. That's pretty nice. Bo Bichet killing the game. How's the little guy doing, Laz? Seth Brown, A's rookie autograph. Another A's auto. Uh, have I? I've, I've hit him before. Ooh, that's nice. A Lewis Robert. Rookie insert refractor. Oh wow, his birthday was today. Dude, how old is that child? Like seven? You do anything for his birthday? Wrong pile. Ah, oh, he is seven. Oh, see, yeah. Uncle Jesse knows, even though uh, I'm a terrible uncle. But I be knowing things sometimes. <laughs> Might be fermented. <laughs> hey, I'll throw his ass to the roof again. Shit. Also, oh, his mom had like a party for him or something. What's up with that lady? Is she still uh, messing around with Sandwich Boy or something? Or, or is she on to baby daddy number six or whatever? That's what I call that. I call that guy sandwich boy. Make my sandwich, bitch. I said extra, extra sour cream, motherfucker. Uh, box eight is for Mark. Let me go, Mark. He's in prison? <laughs> ah, I did, you know, uh, karma's a beautiful thing. Uh, I, I mean, I feel bad for the guy's kid or kids, but uh, fuck that guy.
You know, statistics show that if you work at Subway, there's a 50% chance you might be a, uh, you know, future convict. You know, people, dude, people that people that make sandwiches for a living got gotta have a couple screws loose. What it do, CBK? You know, dude, finally ripping some Chrome Hobby. I, I mean, it's, it's been a solid case, I think. I did Cheeto. I I could have gone many places with it, but uh, you know, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I try to, to, to reel it back in, you know. Now, listen, Lazaro, I don't know if you saw my message earlier, bro, but if uh, if you're not doing nothing Monday or Tuesday, let's go. Let's, let's go have a drink or something, dog. And don't fucking sell me out, bitch. I know the coronavirus is real. But you Gucci, dog. And so is the baby. Little did you know, when I threw him up against the roof, that right there... Activated uh, cells in his brain that uh, you know ramped up his uh, his immune system, and you know, he he is immune to the uh, to the coronavirus among among other things. Okay, so all right, so all right, so Lazaro is a good friend of mine. Okay, me and Lazaro go back over ten years. Okay, so he has a child who is now seven, but when he was a baby, you know, Uncle Jesse used to babysit every now and then, and, you know, I'd go over to his apartment and, you know, play with the kid and whatnot. So there was this one time where I had the baby, and you know how you throw babies in the air and you're supposed to catch them? And it's all, it's a jolly good time, right? Well... I got a little carried away, and I threw this baby you know, inside the apartment. I threw the baby up, and then at some point, I was expecting him to come down, but he kept going up, <laughs> and eventually, you know, I threw him so high that his head hit the roof, and, uh, and then, you know, true to Newton's law, he eventually came back down. I caught him. I caught him at least, right? And uh, he, he was laughing. He was having a good time. But me, knowing what I did, I, you know, my face was like, oh, dude, I was shook. I was scared. I was like, bro, you know, fuck. Now this kid is going to have, you know, God knows what. You know, I, I probably, I probably, you know, knocked a, a couple neurons loose or something. And, uh, you know, luckily he didn't cry or nothing. He, he, he's good. He's good. He's good. So, dude, something like that, Cheeto. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah, so that, that concludes this portion of uh, Uncle Jesse is a piece of shit. Just, you know, keep your, keep your babies away from me. Because I want to throw them in the sky. And I'll catch them eventually. The kids are pretty resilient. Logan Webb, rookie for the uh, Giants. Autograph Mojo. The 250. Nah, Lazaro, I did not. I did not do that to you because you dropped my phone. Okay, I did. I did not do that on purpose. Believe you me, I was I was just having too much fun, man. I was you know I was you know me, I like to push limits. And I was like, well, how high can I throw this baby until uh 
<laughs> until he hits his head up on the roof. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. What is this shit? Oh, Kristen here. That's a good dude. All righty. Listen, if, if I ever have a child, Lazaro, I already know it's coming. It's it's just it's only a matter of time. You know, you're, you're I feel like you're you're just gonna you're gonna push him in the pool or something. You know, while he's still while he or she's still a baby. I, I got my money on that one. I did I did catch him on the way back down. You know, perfect form and everything. But uh, you know, he he did get the Stewie treatment. You know, flatten that head up a little bit, you know. Show him what, li what life is all about. Don't get too high. Because eventually your head will hit something. This is true. This is true. That That is the rule of the streets. Even all the way in Australia, no blood, no foul. That That is a fact. I'm glad that the that rule applies across the pond. Mr. Ichiro with the die cut for the Mariners. <laughs> Brad, uh, CBK, I just read your comment. Dude, I was dropped on my head a few times when I was a baby, and I think I'm okay. I mean, I know my multi—I know my multiplication tables, you know. And you know, that's all—that's all you really ever need to know in life, you know. Nice, a judge negative for the Yankees. A Bichet, Freshman Flash, Blue Jays. Lazaro, you been watching baseball or what? Apparently the Marlins are kind of good. World Series, baby. What do you what do you think of the Marlins? I know you're a big baseball fan. I've seen I've seen a couple games. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh yeah, I've seen every inning, bro. I have not. They got they got they got a good record. It seems like anyway. Uh, this is box nine. Box nine is Steven. Uh, where is Stephen? Oh, there you are. Anything can happen aside from the Mariners making the playoffs. Dude, there's this really there's this really good series on uh, on YouTube about the Mariners. It's like a five part, six part thing. Uh, if you are a Mariner fan, I think you'll enjoy it. It, it literally is a history of the of the, the Seattle Mariners. And I got really stoned one time and I saw it and I thought it was interesting. I'm on to box 10 right now. Oh, 
Holy crap. Let me see if I can find that thing I was telling you about. Uh, uh, last road? No, I did not see that. Man, Jimmy Butler's just a freaking goon, dog. And that's why he's perfect for the heat. Because we got none but some goons down here, baby. Yeah, Jimmy Butler just needs... Uh, all he needs is... Uh, what you call it? Just needs to put golds. And uh, let his hair grow out so he can get those wicks. You know, get those dookie braids going. And, you, you know, classic Miami dude right here. Right there. All right, check it, uh, CBK. I think, you'll, I think you'll enjoy this. There's, uh, there's the link to what I was telling you about, about the Mariners. It's a six-part deal, and it's the literal entire history of the Seattle Mariners. Later, Jimbo. You know, try not to jerk it before you get to the doctors, man. I know it's hard, but you know, you know, switch hit, switch hit. Use the other hand, mate. You know. And for, for, for extra effect, sit on it until it goes numb. And then uh, that's what I like to call a stranger. Cheeto, I need a lot of things, bro. <laughs> I need a lot of things, dog. <laughs> uh, a girl is one of them. Really? I could use two. Because I get bored easily. Yeah, that's, that's my problem. A Lewis Robert, rookie base for the White Sox. Still looking to get an autograph for this man. Leon Lazaro speaks the truth. I, uh, dude, I, I have a habit of just getting bored, like, really quickly. I also have a habit of pushing buttons. And, uh, yeah. I'm a piece of shit. What can I say? I'm working on it. Julio Fernandez, he is not a piece of shit. He's a pretty good dude, I think. For the Cardinals. I mean, look at that stance. Yeah, looking like a samurai about to throw that thing. Dude, Cheeto, uh, Lazaro has a few... Yeah, I'm pretty... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He, yeah, actually, yes. He... <laughs> Uh, I'm sure he's got a couple under his, uh, his belt that he could unleash on me. Some that I have forgotten, because, uh, that's just the kind of dude I am. Alright, Tim Lopes, he's a good dude. Rookie auto for the Mariners. Mariners have had a pretty good break, Smokey.
Oh my goodness. Tell the story about the McDonald's drive through Which one, dog? There's a there's apparently there's a few of those. You you mean the no, nah, you got it, dog. Bitch told me to wait, dog, that one. Were you there for that? Alex Bringman Astros Gold to fifty. The one where Greg drove well, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, all right, well, freshman flash, R Lewis Robert, rookie White Sox. So this was, I don't know what the hell we were doing, but we were drunk as hell. I was, I was, I was fucking done. And I'm in the back seat, you know, and uh, my boy decides to go to McDonald's. So we're in line waiting to take our order. And then eventually we get up to the, uh, to like the, the, the like, what, what, what do you call that shit where you like talk and tell the people your order or whatever? Whatever. We, we get up to that contraption and then the lady's like, you know, g give me, a, you know, give me a couple minutes because, you know, I guess she was busy doing something, right? So we're there waiting and some ass clown gets behind us and starts honking the horn. Now, my boy is an extremely patient man. And he's just sitting there chilling, you know, minding his business, you know. And uh, me, on the other hand, uh, I could be very impatient sometimes. So the dude kept honking his horn. Uh, well, it was in the drive-thru, Louise. It's, it was in the drive-thru. So the dude kept honking his horn. Nice Vladdy to tune in there, by the way. Dude keeps honking his horn, and I roll my window down, and I'm like, bruh, what the fuck? And then he's like, what are you doing? Or something like that. And then I was like, bitch told me to wait, dog. <laughs> I literally say to the guy, I was like, bitch told me to wait, bruh. And, the, and, then, and then as soon as I say it, the lady comes on to like the, like the, the intercom or whatever, and she's like, excuse me? And then I was like, excuse me? <laughs> and then eventually my boy was just like, yeah, you know what? I don't want spit in my McDouble, so I'm going to get up out of here. And then he drove away. And then we went to this other McDonald's. And suffice it to say, my window privileges were revoked. And uh, I had to sit there like a child while he took my order. Yeah, it's it's one of those things where like you kind of had to be there, you know. It's it's not as funny when when I tell the story now. But if you know who I am as a person, then you would probably know uh, how much of an asshole I was to that lady. <laughs> Bitch told me to wait, dog. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, one Yankee on the insert pile, which will be here. Ah, good call, my dude. Ah, of course it goes to you, Mike. That's why uh, you paid attention. Good eye, good eye, good eye. All right, box 11. Yeah, apparently I, there's a history of me at the drive-thru. Because there was, there was another time in Taco Bell. Where I, where I got pretty ratchet. Almost done, y'all. On the second to last box here.
All right, awkward silence. That's always the best. See what's in box eleven. The Cardinals have hit a bunch. Is that a smiley face on there? Oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, you can tell this guy practiced his autograph a bunch. All right, before I uh, go any further, I do need top loader, so let me go grab some. like basketball players and football players have like the best autographs nice a trout Travis Demerit blue for the Tigers. That's nice looking. It's a 150. Dude, I, I have a I have a Dwayne Wade autograph. And he does a he does have a pretty cool signature. But uh fun fact, his rookie autograph completely different from like his uh most recent autographs. He, he changed his autograph like a couple times. Finally, a, a Yankee auto. Michael King, rookie Yankees. Let him go to Brandon. Look at you, Brandon. So, Yankees on the board. In box 11. I think Aaron Braves die cut. Dudes, I did not fall asleep once on this break. Pretty proud of myself if I gotta say so myself. You know, buying that coffee machine was a great investment that I will be looking to recuperate on my taxes because it was for business purposes it is not over yet that is a fact box 12 is still upon us shout outs to Lazaro my brother from another mother providing uh, much needed entertainment At my expense, but hey, that's what it's all about. I 
And last but not Not really, Laz. I mean, not really, dog. Like you, you are an amazing dude. To be honest with you, man, the shit you've gone through, bruh, You know what would have made a, a lesser man do something either really fucking stupid or really crazy. So kudos to you, dog. You're a bigger man than I'll ever be. That is that is a fact. Because I probably would have kicked Stephanie in the face repeatedly. Because, uh, yeah. Fuck that bitch. Box 12. Forgot to put the Yankee over here, too. So, Lazaro, are you still with the, you still with that chick that you were telling me about? Talking about you're going to get an apartment together, and you're going to get this dog, and... You're going to feed it peanut butter and it's going to lick it off of your weird places and all that stuff. Y'all still doing that? Oh, nice. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Y'all living together? You're living off of Bird. Ah, oh, dude, you're close. Well, close to the office here anyway, because I'm by Dade Land. Any plans for uh, baby number two or what? I know how you do, Laz. I know how you do, dog. You be locking them down, dog. <laughs> A Lux Auto, you have been summoned. Let's make it happen. All right, last box mojo. Good luck, Mike, and everyone else that uh, hasn't gotten a hit here. to roll twin rookie autograph yeah I was just thinking the same thing Cheeto like you know I, I got a good groove you know, and I was I've been mindful of those three teams this entire time. It didn't slow me down that much, and not as much as I thought it was. So that might be the that might be the move moving forward. Might have to do box fillers for those big teams in Chrome so we can get that stuff cracking. Another Lewis Robert base. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. That, you know, they don't call me Cardboard Moses for nothing. Ask and you shall receive, Mike. A Gavin Lux rookie autograph. Freshman Flash. I know that the insert autographs aren't as highly uh, wanted, if you will, but uh, it is a nice looking card. There you go, Mike. Cardboard Moses leading uh, my people to the promised land. Cal Lewis rookie freshman flash for the Mariners. Let's see if we can hit a Lewis Robert parallel. Owners Wagner. Pirates die cut. That's cool. Boy, a dirt. He was probably safe. I hope he was safe. Lewis Ara A's twins negative. Man, Mike, you really called that, dude. If I were you, man, I'd play the lottery, the lottery or something. You must be some kind of wizard. Because that does it for the break. All right, Mike. Where's your stuff? You're over here. Cool. All right, let me uh, do a recap here. So we got a Gavin Lux Dodger rookie autograph from my man Mike. That was nice. That's uh, one of those box filler teams. Uh, we also had another box filler autograph for the Yankees, Michael King. Uh, the Michael King is not numbered. Uh, the Gavin Lux is numbered to 99. There you go. All right. Let's see the other autographs. We've got uh, Graterol, a Rosarena, uh, Lopes, Fernandez, Dubon, a Webb to 250. Well, Lazaro, it's too late now. I'm done, bro. <laughs> Brown, uh, El Zole, Hernandez, a Rosarena to 150. Uh, Wag West Pack, Wags Pack, uh, whatever. Uh, Brosseau, Nunez, James Marvel Pirates to 50. Uh, I was done before 1230 by three minutes. Fuck yeah. Uh, TJ Zooch, Blue Jays, Castro, Tigers, Gallon D backs, uh, Sheldon News A's, Yamamoto, little Marlon Mojo right there, baby. Uh, Jake Rogers, the American Dragon for the Tigers. Um, what else? Well, I got some uh, more autographs here. But we got a relic for the Padres, Ozzy Smith. That is game used memorabilia. According to Tops, I believe him. You should too. A photo variation for Kyle Lewis of the Mariners. Code 635. That means it is a short print. Very nice. A Beau Bichet Refractor Parallel Redemption for the Blue Jays. I do believe that'll be numbered to $4.99. And a Kyle Lewis Rookie Mariner Refractor Auto to $4.99. One of the hottest rookies in the game. Not bad. Not bad at all. And that is going to do it. 
Um, there was some other cool stuff in RAs, negative there. A few Robert base cards. A Bechet, 35th anniversary. Or Santana, Indians, uh, negative. Uh, Lewis Robert, 35th anniversary. Another Bechet there. A Posey, negative for the Giants. More Lewis uh, base cards and stuff. So there it is. All right. Now, before I wrap this up, we do have some monies to give away. Let's go ahead and roll the die. We're going to go eight times in the random. Let's put that on the screen. And this is for some monies. So if your name is not in bold, unfortunately, you didn't get a hit. But you do have a chance to win some of your money back in this filler. Or I should say, uh, giveaway. Oh, where is it? There it is. All right, got everyone's name on the random. Top five, win 20 bucks each and break credit for a total of 100. Going eight times. Good luck, y'all. Money shot eight. Good luck, everybody. Boom. Eight times. Top five. We got Mark, Steven, Thomas, Dirk, and Michael. So, congrats to the five of you. Winning a little break credit. And that's going to do it for the break. Thank you, everybody.